Listen to this. Our first guest is a 10-time, 10-time, 10-time Grammy Award winner. That's remarkable. That's just unbelievable. She's won 10 Grammy Awards. That's cool. That's what we have. She is also a uh, talented actress who uh, produced and stars in a new film entitled Obsessed. It opens on Friday. Here's the always lovely Beyonce. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm okay, my friend. Ten Grammy Awards, that's just remarkable. I know, and it's so funny because back when I, when I won the majority, I had no idea what was going on. Mm -hmm. It went by so fast, I didn't realize what an amazing accomplishment it was that right. day. And you're still, you're still just a kid, and you started out uh, very young, and you I still did. got a, a huge c career ahead Thank of you. you. Thank you. And uh, those are beautiful earrings. Thank you. <laughs> and I just, for, you know, for a second, For a second, I said to myself, are those Grammy Awards? But they're... <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Oh, please, stop it. Uh, well, tell, tell me about your year, big year. Uh, the, you got the upcoming tour. Tell me about this tour. Who can, who can go on a tour like this? It's 105, 102 it's dates 115 or something? 115 dates. 115 dates. It and how, how long will that take? It takes about seven months. Well, oh right now it's seven God. months. I do a lot of shows back to back, maybe yeah. four shows and then a day off because I like to go home in mm -hmm. between. So um, I'd rather just kind of do all the shows together and then I'm Where able does to go the tour home. begin? Um, it starts in Europe and then I come on Father's Day to America. I start off in New York City, Madison Square Garden. Mm -hmm. Good. And then. And then I go, I go to Japan, and I go to Ethiopia, and I go all around the world. And it's so interesting to see the difference in the, in the crowds, especially over in Japan. And no one told me the first time I performed there that everyone is so polite. Mm -hmm. And whenever you speak or sing, no one really moves. So the whole time I'm thinking, wow, I must really, really suck. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> oh. That's crazy. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm, I'm just pondering, uh, I mean, uh, just listening to you describe this uh, itinerary, and it's only a partial itinerary, it is exhausting to me. It, is, is it, it just must knock you down, doesn't it? I mean, I, I do work very hard, and I do get really tired. But when I'm home, I'm so lazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I literally drop my shoes there. I, I can't cook. I, I'm uh, the worst <laughs> house. I'm the worst. Anything to do with cleaning, cooking, anything domestic, I'm just really bad mm -hmm. at it. Yeah. Well, that's I all have right. time. I'll, I'll yeah, figure you know, it I out. Yeah, I mean, sure, you've got other things, other priorities right now. Little, little things. <laughs> Would you consider taking J Japan off the list? I mean, if they're if they're just gonna <laughs> if they're just gonna stand there for heaven's sakes, <laughs> you don't need that, do you? Oh, well, I think there'll be. I mean, I gotta do Japan. I have some great fans out there. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, uh, tell me about working in front of the uh, uh, the president, the inauguration, and uh, that, that must have been thrilling. Oh huh? my God, it's I think the best moment of my career, absolutely. I was so nervous and so honored to be there, and I, it was really difficult to keep from, from bursting into mm -hmm. tears. It was really a moment, and I've never watched so many, I, I've never watched one of my performances so many times. I literally wanted to just repeat keep it over and over it. again, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so the uh, you, you're there. What was the show? Who was uh, on the show? What was the feeling? I, I mean, was it when you you go there, you have a, an idea of what it's going to be like? Completely different than what you anticipated. Yes. I mean, it, it was the neighborhood ball, and he wanted to invite everyone from na neighborhood mm -hmm. and every celebrity Who else performed? was there. Mary J. Blige, uh, J. performed. Mm -hmm. um, now, how did how did that go? Was was he nervous about that? Well, no, I don't think so, but you know, the next day, <laughs> the next day he performed for everyone um, that campaigned for Obama, mm -hmm. and they told him it was just going to be a regular show, and he, you know, we were in our hip-hop clothes, and we got there, everyone, they were in tux. Ooh. So he's like, okay, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't do 99 Problems, but a bitch ain't one. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we found out. <laughs> sure. So he changed it to 99 Problems, but Bush ain't one. Quick thinking. And it was great. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> I, uh, I'm wearing my hip-hop clothes right now. Ah. <laughs> so am I. Yeah, I know you are. Uh, oh, boy. 
Tell me about your, uh, your sister is younger than you are, isn't she? Yes, I think, she is. I think she's been on the show, as a matter of fact. Yes, yeah. I saw her on the show. She, she's like your kid's sister? How much younger is she? She's five years, but mm -hmm. I'm very protective, and I always treated her like my baby. Mm -hmm. and, and one day she told us this little bully, this little guy in school, she was only about nine, was really harassing her. So me and my girls all showed up, and we, we surrounded him, and we're like, you've been messing with my sister? <laughs> I'm telling you, you've been warned and tell them Destiny's Child is warning you. So we were real gangster. I like that. <laughs> but now we get we get along very mm -hmm. well. And even though it's hard to get in touch with her, because all she does is Twitters. Oh, Twitter, yes. Yeah, she's, very she's popular, a Twitterer, sure. and, and that's the only way I can get in contact with her. I literally had to call my cousin and have her Twitter her because mm -hmm. I refuse even though now she's starting a campaign for me to, to join the mm -hmm. Twitter family. You, you, don't, you don't Twitter, no. I pick up the phone. Yeah. yeah that, that's, <laughs> to, to me, the phone just seems to be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Here, I guess this is what we were talking about. That's the inauguration, am I right there? Yes, Yeah, is. the inaugural ball. Inauguration night, January 20th, 2009. Well, that's great that you're able to relive that and over and over again. And what a uh, great night for, well, everyone really in the world when you think about it. And then this was, uh, and they, they gave you an extra grand if you do this, I understand. Is that what happened? <laughs> wow, that's, you know what? <laughs> Give me an extra thousand dollars if you put on a harness and fly around. There he goes again. Yeah, stop it. Now, what exactly is happening here? This, I actually, I have to unfortunately be in this harness every night. I, I fly around every night on my tour. Well, this is part of your show. It is a part of my show. Wow. And you, you travel with your own flying guys, right? You don't, it's not like no, local no, no. guys. It's the same people every same night. Same people and every night, And the first night, yeah. night, they actually kind of crashed me into the stairs. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> so we I mean, crashed you into the stairs. Yeah, we had to. You know, it takes rehearsal. I didn't imagine that would happen, but mm -hmm. I get I get bruised up, and I, you know, that wasn't cool. But I don't mind getting, yeah. you know. Uh, well, good luck the tour. What's the first date of the tour, and then you're back in the North America on Father's Day here in New York City. But the first date of the tour is when and where? The first day is in two days, Ooh, and gotta, it's oh, in Croatia. Right oh, Croatia? Yes. Wow. I've never performed there. It'll be my first wow. time. So this really is like a global experience for you, isn't it? It is. Yeah, what a great way to see the world, then. Thank you. Uh, now let's talk about the film, Obsessed, opens on Friday. So uh, you, you really have everything happening now, don't you? I you get do. the film, you get the tour. T tell people uh, about the, uh, the film. It's uh, a, a creepy psychodrama thriller with creepy people in the movie. <laughs> It's actually a very sexy thriller, right. and um, but there, there, there's some creepiness. I mean, honest to God. Is it creepy? God. Oh, were you telling me that that woman ain't creepy? She is a little creepy in the movie. Yeah. Yes, she is. And and gets creepier as the movie goes on, don't you think? <laughs> I mean, it is. I mean, she's kind of a stalker. I guess so. She's a little creepy. Yeah, yeah. But I get to fight, and it's my first time doing something ever, ever any fight scenes in a movie, and mm -hmm. I really, really enjoyed it because I'm a lover and I got to let out all of my aggression. Mm -hmm. Good for you, <laughs> right. Well, see, you proved my point because if the woman wasn't creepy, there'd be no fight. I guess you're right. If it was something you could just talk over, that'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> She's so creepy, you gotta slam some sense at, oh, do, should we maybe? Uh, 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 no. clip. Yeah, let's see the clip. You know what it's gonna be here? <laughs> yes, this is when I find the creepy woman uh -huh. in my bedroom in my husband's well, the, shirt. Oh, it is kind of creepy right, now that I think about yeah, it. Yeah, take a look. Obsessed. <laughs> Buddy, you see what I'm saying? No, 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 no. I don't know. It's called Obsessed. I wish I had a nickel for every time I called the house and that was going on. Uh, it opens on uh, Friday and the world tour begins in a couple of days in Croatia and uh, later on the program tonight, you're coming back uh, to sing a song from uh, right here. I am. Right there. Okay. Oh. oh, my God. We'll be right back, everybody. Thank you so much. Good to see you.